Hey guys, Matt here, Broken Supercoach checking in. There's been a bit of news today. Um, I know teams are going to drop pretty shortly, but we're not going to get much news there. We already know about Cowan and Hollands. So I thought I'd drop one another video for you uh, in regards to the new rookies at West Coast who got announced last night, the, the Essendon, uh, Davey getting announced this afternoon, and the big one being Yo out. So I didn't have Yo, so... You can see how my team looks again and if you didn't want to go back and look at other videos. Just quickly, um, thanks. Big shout out to everyone who's liked videos, who's subscribed, who's watched the video in the last few days or any of the videos I've put up in the last few days. Um, really appreciate it. Just a quick note there, 77% of you aren't subscribed. So if you want to subscribe, uh, definitely do that. I really appreciate it. Um, it's free to do, so give us a subscribe. Love it. Helps the channel. Um, so this is what it looks like. I've obviously, you would have seen the last video, and if you didn't, Cowan Holland's in, I've got the big three in the middle, love that. And now, without Yo, you've got probably got two options, so let's start off, that's what everyone's here for, you want to see what to do, not having Yo. So, we've got Stuart, Dawson, Dacos, they're my three, so you probably have two premiums, or three premiums in defense. Hopefully, you're just three premiums in defense, and then you can just throw one of these in. The concern I have personally, now with three premiums and these five, is that I'm not certain that McKenna and Wilmot play. Um, we're going to have to find another rookie. I'm actually leaning even further along. I know that Chesser is a, a defense rookie, but I've just put him in the midfield for now. Um, but what we could do is, worst case, Chesser up, Wilmot out, uh, Davey up, uh, who I've got now, and Peddler back in. So um, you'll note the Peddler's gone from there, but I've been shuffling around because of Davey. The other one is, you know, Jimby is obviously going to be an on-field starter. So, may need a fourth premium, which would require a bit of shuffling, which I'm not going to do in front of you, because you don't want to see some guy just fiddling around with his team. Um, you want to see what's the actual action. So, likely what happens is, is I probably would have to lose Hopper somehow, um, build up a bit of cash, find a way to get a fourth premium on the field. Who would that be? Um, I can at least give you that option. Probably back on the sick dog, as 624 hurts a lot. Probably on the sick dog, or you can get a cheaper one. I know I said in the earlier video I liked Ridley for 500, but, you know, I've been burned by him a lot of times in the past. So, and I know that a lot of people are on Ridley. I think it's a trap pick, but worst case, it might be the one I have to pick. Just looking through these names. Continue to look through these names here. Um, if I had to pick any at 500, it'd be Ridley. Hopefully, hopefully you can just build up enough money to get the sick dog. Or Doherty. Um, one of those. But yeah, for now, we're running three and five in defense to see how that works. Fingers crossed we get those. I'm not 100% sure that Brisbane make that many changes to their team. And I just don't know how McKenna and Wilmot are going to both be in the team. But if it is, it is. That would be really great. Um... What else we got? Obviously, Davies. So, Davies is a DPP 117 player who you who didn't play preseason. Um, but, same with Noah Long, a DPP 117K. I have no idea who this guy is, but he's 117 DPP in the team you go, mate. Um, issue being there is we haven't seen much of him. I don't really care for either of them, but it is what it is. Obviously, no peddler is the big glaring one I've got rid of Peddler. I liked having the Crows flare, but I am a little bit worried about Peddler for a vest risk. I am worried that he might cop the vest every now and then. But if we can get him in, we will. And what we'll do is, because like I said, I want to get more Crows players in because of their tackling pressure. Um, so say it's Wilmot. Wilmot goes, Chester goes up, um, Davey probably goes up, Peddler goes, or whatever. Peddler can go there. Um, and that's how that team's going to look so far. Nothing else has really changed. Back on Oliver, I want to be able to hold these three for sure. I want to be able to hold these three. If I can get a fourth premium in the defense, I think I'll do it. Um, and I know I'm pretty... I know a lot of people are not hot on Darcy Cameron, but I just I really like having that ruck back up without having to trade. Um, with the amount of... With the amount of rookies that we're getting with the amount of mid-price guys, I don't want to have to use too many trades. I think a big a big thing I'm going to have over a lot of people this year who have picked a lot of mid-prices are trades in hand. And 
I came back from 40,000 last year to finish top 1,000, and that was because I had trades in hand and held the right guys. So it's definitely something to think about. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I'll see you guys later.